I'm Marcos Magalhães from Brazil. I'm an animation filmmaker. And I'm here in Animateca because uh, my latest short was, was chosen by Igor to be uh, part of the uh, Omnibus animated retrospective. And uh, it's for the film is called Doctor, My Son is an Animator. I'm here also because I am one of the four directors of Anima Mundi Festival in Brazil. And we are happy to uh, strength this, this collaboration with Animateca, which we already have. Let's speak a little about uh, Dr. My son is an animator. Um, can you explain what is an animatism? Well, animatism is the syndrome that we animators all have. <laughs> and it, it, it mo in most of cases it's, it is very good, but it can look strange. People can be worried about this. So I did this film to inform people about the, the real dimension that this syndrome can, can cause. <laughs> so it's a very uh, funny film. I, I had a lot of fun to do it and I, I chose some animators that I admire and, and asked, invited them to, to explain how this syndrome has affected their lives. One of the things in the film is, is it's a live action film mostly, you know, and it's it's kind of a documentary because some of the, of the stories are real, and but it's about animation, and so all the actors are animators. Everyone in the film should have made some animation, so this is, this was mandatory. No professional actors. <laughs> And I invited some uh, some names that uh, you probably know, uh, like Mikaela Pavlatova, the great Czech animator, and she plays a colleague of the doctor. She's a doctoressa, <laughs> and she explains how how she treats her patients in Prague. And then comes Enio Torrezan, which is a very talented Brazilian animator who did a, sh a very successful short called El Macho. He is presently a chief of storyboards at uh, DreamWorks, and so she took, he took a pause of his work in, in the studio to make a, a, a very good animation and tell us a story which is true of his life. <laughs> and then after Enio comes John Weldon, which is a, a awarded, a, a, he won an Oscar for a film called Special Delivery. He, worked, he used to work in the National Film Board of Canada. Now he's retired and he's doing his animations freely. And he was very enthusiastic to do his, this, his scene about uh, how he was, uh, how, how he became an animator. Then after John comes uh, Fabio Yamaji, which is a, a, a Brazilian, and he, he's a Japanese descendant. And he tells about uh, the influence of Japanese culture in, in his youth. And uh, the last, there is, uh, there is Juan Pablo Zaramela, the, the Argentinian filmmaker, who, is, uh, who did a, a very, very funny uh, sequence about uh, the, 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 the syndrome. He resumes like, the idea of the film, like uh, we're all animators, but we can make a better word. <laughs> uh, there's also you in the film, right? Yes. Well, yeah. <laughs> and your son, I guess? Or <laughs> At first I, I was going to invite uh, someone to play the doctor, but then I said, why, why not? I, I, I would try to make, I was, I'll try to be an actor once in my life. <laughs> so I did the doctor. And for the kid, I had my son, who is, who, who is also an animator. He does. He likes to do animation, and he, he he's there in the film playing the the patient. Of course, film is a grotesque story and uh, pure 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 nonsense and pure joke. Um, but it gently tells uh, us this message that there is no cure for animatism. We just should all accept it and start to enjoy it. Or <laughs> Yes, as as the doctor says in the, in the film, I I, uh, I I agree with him that I think animation is a new way to 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 look at, at the world, and we animators we develop uh, a different perception. 
So the film is funny, but uh, in fact, there is, some, there is a, a clear message that uh, we should uh, pay more attention about the way animators think about animators propose uh, new solutions for for everything, <laughs> not only for films, but uh, for life. You know, the, the reflections we see, even in abstract films or, or funny films, you will see uh, a different way of thinking uh, from those who never experienced, like seeing the world frame by frame, stop to think about time and like reflect how can you simulate time, how can you structure time. And this helps uh, your daily life. You can not only make better animation films if you, if you understand time, but you can also have a better living. I believe that. <laughs> the film is about um, community and is in the program um, dedicated to the idea of collectivism in animated, animated animation art. Um, and here you are and uh, somehow in your work uh, you managed to join this um, uh, this two, 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 two ways of, 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 of working that is building um, the building the festival as a collective effort and building the community through it yes. well I started animation as everybody in a very lonely work like working alone in my room and the things that I <laughs> like the mother in my film my mother had the same had the same uh, worries. <laughs> what what is this kid doing in the in the room all alone all the time? <laughs> so, but I, I soon discovered that animation can be very collective. Uh, that you can make beautiful things together with many people, and uh, I have experienced some some initiatives like this, like the Animaton, which is a marathon of animation that was invented by Andre Leduc, a Canadian animator. And it was very, very effective and very funny and very uh, productive. It, it was an event of w one weekend that many people gathered and started to make collective ideas and there was a competition between many films, but just in two days. <laughs> and they did minutes of animation that it was very nice. We brought, we brought Andrea two times to Anima Mundi. Um, also, in, in, in Anima Mundi, we stimulate uh, the workshops, like uh, children working together, making uh, clay films, films with stop motion animation with, with clay in groups. And this is very, uh, also very formative, like uh, they, they, the, the, the teachers love it. And, and we teach also the teachers to how to use animation, stop motion in their, in their classes. It's a very successful uh, program we have. And also, uh, uh, there is Animation Has No Borders, the film that was in the, in the same program as my film. And by a coincidence, I had participated on that as the, the, the Brazilian animator, the representant from Brazil. And it was also a very curious uh, film, although I never I never met personally the, the other animators who took part in the film because the, 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 the idea was, was developed by mail. I had received the invitation with a letter and, I ha I, and later I received a, a package by mail with uh, a piece of film that I had to, to draw and make an animation. And I, I didn't see the film instantly at that time because there was no internet, no video. So, but I. I got to see it again <laughs> this week in Animatech. It was a great experience to to see it again and see it it's, it's keeps being a, an excellent film. And in Brazil, in the 80s, we once made a collective film called Planeta Terra, which was a, a, a film made for the International Year of Peace in 1986. So uh, I have invited all the Exist, existing Brazilian animators at that time, who, who weren't so many, <laughs> like it were three, 30 animators in all Brazil. But these 30 have shown their styles, their different visions of peace in this film. And this film was also very successful. It showed to the world that there, were, there was a community of, of Brazilian animators starting to develop 
And this was fundamental to, to what we have now in Brazil. We have a community of animators, very united, uh, an association. We have uh, support from the government to laws of financing and the interests and of the, 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 the enterprises, the industries, the schools. So I think collective films also can, can work for animation. Well, in, in, in my career, we had, I, I had the opportunity to travel a lot, thanks to my films, to going to festivals, and I, I could meet people and communicate, because you don't need really to talk a good English or, or other language to communicate with animators. Once you, you have a film to show, you can communicate. So it's very important. It's, it's an universal language, and we have to, to maintain this, this uh, links between uh, all the continents. So in Anima Mundi we work, work with that since the beginning. We invite uh, the, the, the international guests. We try to make these relations with uh, other animation festivals. And especially with Latin America, we have been working on uh, an alliance between the, 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 the festivals, animation festivals from, from Latin America because I think all the countries are experiencing the same thing we, we, we had in Brazil, like a, a big festival that attracts a lot of people and the interest of opportunities to, to develop a, a market and a, an industry and, and uh, like a, a critic for, for animation, understanding of animation. And this is starting to, help, to, to, to happen in, in Latin America in general. So uh, we have a, a, an alliance with uh, Expo Tunes, a, f a festival in Argentina, Chile Monos, a festival in Chile, and recently Cut Out, a festival in Mexico. And these are just the first we want to, to expand that. And we have good relations with all countries, and this friendship with Animateca, for example, and other festivals like NEC or Ottawa, we keep in contact with all them, and we are looking for the possibility of co-productions in all ways, like not only TV series or features, but also production of artistic films. Um, but we'd like to know what's your opinion on Animateca 214? Well, it's a very uh, strong festival in terms of content because I, 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 s I can see that the content is very carefully chosen and selected and structured so it all makes sense so you see many different things but they are all connected and uh, I see the personal uh, uh, like a personal co commitment of all the team like everybody is, is knows what what is happening here, <laughs> and sometimes it's difficult in in an event in a festival because you need many different people working. So I can feel that, and uh, sometimes I feel even a little envy because our our festival in Brazil it grew very much. Now it's it's a monster festival, take having hundred thousand people every year. So. And, and when I see the, the, the festival director, Igor, coming to every screening to talk with the audience and explaining what, what we were going to see, I remember the very first editions of Anima Mundi we did 22 years ago. And which, when we had the time and, and the pleasure to do this, <laughs> but we can't do it anymore because it's so big. And, uh, so. We try to keep it in, in some events, but uh, I think it's something that uh, you must preserve, like this, this uh, intimacy of a festival, and I liked it very much.